Hey guys, it's Kylie. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing another subscription box unboxing. If you watched my last video, it was an Ellie box unboxing. I said I was gonna do a new subscription box every three months, but I don't have the patience for that. I wanted another one. So I'm still doing Ellie box, but I invited this one in my life as well. And that box is Trunk Club. It comes in an actual trunk. It's really neat. Let's go over the details about Trunk Club before we dive in the box. If you have any questions, you know, they'll hopefully all be answered in this video. So then in the next Trunk Club video, we can just dive into the box, blah, blah, blah. What this is, is a clothing subscription box. You take a style quiz, you can link your Pinterest account and you tell them what kind of shirts you like. Do you like tight shirts, loose shirts? Is there anything that you don't like that you don't want to show? Do you like high-waisted pants, low-waist pants? You put in your shoe size, all your sizes, all that fun stuff, and then you have a stylist that picks out clothing for you and sends it to you. The cool thing about this box, though, is I used to get Stitch Fix, and that has five items in it, and you did the same thing. You took a style quiz, you could link your Pinterest account, everything, and they would just send you clothes, and you wouldn't know what you were getting until it was already sent. With Trunk Club, the coolest part about this, I think, is you get to see a list of everything that they're gonna send in the box. If you don't like any of it, you can tell them, don't want this, Be and then there's like little boxes that you click on why you don't want it. Maybe you already have it, maybe it's just too expensive, maybe it's just the wrong color, whatever. So it all gets taken out of your cart, and then they will replace it with something new. You only get to do that one time, as far as I know, so if there's Clothes that you don't like, get them all out at one time and then they'll replace it and then they send the box. So I think that's really cool about the box. The box itself, you pay $25 styling fee for each box. You can get it monthly, bi-monthly, just whenever you want, whatever. Um, so it's $25 per box, but it also goes, goes towards an item in the box. So you have $25 already to use for your box. Okay, if you guys are interested in getting one of these subscription boxes yourself, please use my referral code. I'll put it in the description box. It'll give you $50 and it'll give me $50 to use towards items in the, your next boxes. So it's a great help on both ends. So if you're gonna do it, just use my link. In the box, you get anything clothing and accessory related. Also the cool thing about this, you can actually chat with your stylist. I chatted with my stylist and told them to take all the pants out because I live in San Antonio. It's hot. I don't want pants. I already have enough pants. So I told her to put more short skirt and dress options in there and she did and it was great. So you can actually chat with your stylist, which is really cool. It's easier than email, opening up a new page and emailing somebody and waiting a long time for a response. So I think that's really cool. The other cool thing about Nord, the, the trunk club is because it's from Nordstrom, if one of these clothing items is on sale at Nordstrom, you're gonna get it on sale in your box. All right, next step, I guess, I think I got all the information out and all the important information anyways. If there's anything I missed, I'll put all the information in the description box. If you like any of these clothing items and you just want like one piece of clothing but you don't wanna try Trunk Club, I'll list links in the description box to lead you to said outfit piece. Okay, this is really neat. So you open it this way, and then it's got the little doors, and there's everything inside. Everything comes pre-packaged, really nice, just like you would get if you ordered it online and just got it in the mail. So I'm gonna start trying on items, and we will talk about them one by one as we go. So I have my pile over here, so I'm just gonna start with what's on top. This is the Allie and Jay Stacy Rib Midi Dress. This is, oh, I love it so much. You've got a nice zipper on the side. It took me a minute to figure out how to get it on because I'm like, why isn't this fitting? And then I found the zipper on the side. It's really well hidden. This is actually 60% off right now. It's originally $138 and in my box it's $55.20. Now the thing about this dress is I love it so much, but it is a very thick material. Mike might cut out, so I'm super sorry, but this dress is perfect for I'd say New Year's or Christmas in Texas, but as far as summer goes, it's just too hot and heavy. The material is beautiful. It's got that ribbed soft material. It's got little pearl details on the shoulder, a little bit of a poof on it, super duper cute. But again, just too hot for summer. If, it, if I had gotten it in the right season, I would buy it, but I don't wanna pay that much just to have it sitting in my closet for that long. So cute though. 
The next item is a heart dress. This is originally $108, which is crazy in the first place. And then it's on sale for $64, which isn't too bad, but I had the biggest issue. I, I just hated the dress all around. It didn't look terrible, but the top chest part was not cute uh, on me anyways. Originally, it was tied way too tight, so I had to try to untie them and retie them and doing that all by myself didn't work at all you would definitely need assistance i think trying to get the, to try to tie these correct it was just way too much work i was sweating it was horrible it made me hate the dress instantly so this one definitely went back anyways let's continue with our scheduled video then by the time I got those done, I couldn't get the back zipper up. It's not that it didn't fit, this dress fit very well. And you can see when I turn around, I show you that, I mean, the fabric pulls together. It's not that it's too small for me. It's just that the zipper was stuck down here a little bit and I can, so I was already sweating from trying to get these darn things tied to where the point I just got so frustrated with it. I didn't even, I didn't even care. I'm not gonna buy this dress. It's not flattering on me so it's very this is nice fabric for texas it's very lightweight it's very cute but it's a no for me it's it's just it's overly frustrating to put on this next dress is the french connection whisper pom-pom trim midi dress this is originally 148 dollars and is on sale for 59 20 it's 60 percent off so it's a very simple red spaghetti drop dress strap dress with the little pom-pom deal at the bottom this i love so much the quality of pretty much all of these clothes first off i want to mention is amazing and i know i mean it's all from Nord nordstrom so i expect it to be good but that is one thing that i do like so far way over stitch fix is Stitch Fix, some of the clothing did not feel very good quality, but it was still very high priced. This is actually really good quality in all these clothes. Um, super soft material. It's kind of not super smooth, but like not rough. And then on the inside, you have like a satiny material, so it's nice and soft on there. It's a little heavy, not super heavy or anything, but definitely wearable for Texas. I love the color, uh, a red dress. I think it's beautiful. I just love the pom-pom detail. My only thing is, this is a size zero. I think I could size up when I was trying it on. It was bunching up in the back a little bit, and I think that's due to being a little small. So it was at this point in the video where my microphone totally went out and some of my video was completely gone. There was no footage of me in the red dress. So I'm super sorry. The rest of the video is going to have to be voiced over. Hopefully my next video, my mic will be fixed again. The next is a shirt by CC. It is a $79 white blouse. It was super cute, comfy material, $79. It wasn't on sale or anything. My biggest thing was I didn't wanna purchase a white shirt for that amount of money when I would probably spill something on it. The sleeves were super cute, the poofiness. It was cute, tucked in the shorts and just on its own. You could wear it with so many different things, but again, $79 for a white shirt for me, just no. And it's not, I mean, it's cute, but it's not like, the cutest thing in the entire world so just not worth the money for me so I passed on this one the next was an all in favor cross front cross top and this was on sale 50% off for $22.50 I wasn't sure about this one at first when I tried it on I was like eh, I don't know about it but I do really love the color the material of it was very soft it fit very well no no problems with it I did end up keeping this one Next is these Madewell high-rise cuffed denim shorts. They were 30% off, ended up being $47. I loved these. Um, I have a lot of jean shorts, but I don't have any high-rise ones. And these are so, so comfortable. The material, I mean, obviously they're jean shorts, but it's like a soft jean short. And then they're not too short. And then they have the hem that rolls up. You can roll it down and wear it like a regular short, I guess, but I mean, I think it's cuter rolled up. The only problem I have with that is when I roll them up, I have a hard time getting them even or I have a hard time with the back of it staying up. So that's my only faux pas with that one. The next is a Reformation floral wrap tee for $58. 
this was so so cute it ended up going on sale even more so I got it even cheaper um, this completely unties and you just wrap it all around you and then figure out where to tie it so I tied it in the front and I also ended up tying it in the back to see what it would look like but um, I thought I would have more skin showing but I have such a short torso that it ended up covering up everything so that's pretty good for me um, super comfortable it's not see-through I thought it would be I wore a bralette under it I think I would wear something different next time but so cute cream color very soft overall a great top next one is the socialite v-neck satin camisole this was on sale for $15 so I did end up keeping it I love the color first of all and I feel like it just goes with so many different things I paired it with this fruit skirt which was adorable um, so it went really well with that tucked in it goes very well with jean shorts with jeans just really you can pair it with anything it does have adjustable straps which makes it even better for me um, it is definitely very wrinkly so it would have to be steamed or ironed so it could be you know a little bit more clean looking but I, I loved it next is this Reformation Margot mini skirt this retails for $98. When I first tried it on, honestly, I thought it was, it felt like a loincloth and $98 for a loincloth is crazy expensive. Uh, looking back on the footage, I love it so much more than I thought. The slit in the skirt though made me scared pretty much. It felt so high and the skirt felt so short. So I have a three-year-old. I don't do very well with very short things. I think this would be cute for a date night or something. And I love the fruit details on the skirt. It's so cute. But at the same time, I think it was see-through if I can remember right. It felt like it was see-through. There just wasn't much to it. And for $98, I feel like that's just ridiculous. If this was cheaper, then I might have bought it. But again, that slit, I feel like is a little bit too high for my liking. But it's still very cute. I mean, a lot of people could pull it off for sure if it was cheaper next I got another skirt a BP print mini skater skirt this was $45 the price point is definitely a lot better but this skirt and the last skirt I feel like were a little bit too small I would have to size up as you can see it's kind of scrunched and I feel like that's because it was too tight on me the length is pretty much the same but because it doesn't have the slit in it I felt so much more comfortable in it and it's just super duper cute i loved it but i think if i sized up i would have been fine i was just so hesitant on keeping it because i'm so afraid of wearing short skirts i need to get over it and be more comfortable but oh well this here is just an example of on the website they show you what items to pair with what items so they gave me those shorts and it tells me that all three of those tops could obviously match and as well as like they gave me pictures of the skirt and what shirts would match well with the skirts so it's all very very nice so these are all the items I ended up keeping the red cross top the jean shorts the wrap top and the tank top if you total everything all the prices that you see on the screen that total comes out to hundred and forty four dollars and nine cents I ended up only paying ninety dollars if you take off my $25 styling fee um, which they do it would still I would still be paying $119 but one of the items ended up going on sale even more so I ended up only paying $90 for all four items so I think that's pretty good for really good quality clothing I was very happy with everything that I kept and I can't wait for my next trunk club thanks for watching you guys don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it Hopefully the next Trunk Club video will be a little bit better and we won't have any mic issues. Anyways, thanks for watching. Bye.